Well, hello and welcome people to the internet to another Dark Chaser Battle Tide run. Today we're going to be playing the Summoner. Uh, so the Summoner herself, I don't think she's really going to be doing, or at least the way I'm going to be built here, she's not going to be really doing any damage herself. We're going to rely on all of our summons, so we're going to be playing uh, Dodge the Enemies a lot. Now, that being said, she does have a modified max HP uh, stat, so any HP modifiers we get is going to be increased by 25%, so we are going to be scaling our health quite a bit. Uh, and whenever her summons explode, well, they'll explode upon death, dealing 100% damage of the summons max HP to surrounding enemies. So there's a couple different ways that we could do this. You know, we could go with uh, something like the Archer Summon, which has a lower HP, but summons much quicker every three seconds. But you can only have one of these, right? This, this max quantity, I do think there are ways of increasing this quantity, I think, if I recall. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I think I want to start out with the Roaring Bear. The Roaring Bear has Taunt. And that seems pretty good. <laughs> also, the bear does scale 100% off of our HP. And since they're going to be, we're, you know, the bear's going to be taunting, it's going to be uh, targeted down and then will explode when a bunch of enemies go around it. So I feel like that's kind of the best way to go. So, uh, yeah, let, let's just, let's get her going. So at least to start here, I'm going to kind of be sticking around my bear. Uh, and hopefully enemies, you know, target this thing. I don't know how, like, how good is the taunt? It feels like they're all literally going after the bear, so that seems pretty good. Uh, we might not even have to worry about enemies for the most part. I mean, I'm not seeing it, like, do any taunting unless that literally is the taunt going around it. Uh, let's see, so summon damage, but extra damage taken. That actually might not be too bad. Summon's attack has a 20% chance to burn enemy and equal chance summons will also burn themselves. Summons max HP. Well, let's actually go for that. Although, to be fair, like, he didn't die, but, I mean, can't really take that into account. This is only the first round. I don't die in the first round. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Ghost Fireworks. So, there are going to be some, some summons that we couldn't actually start with, right? And this one might actually be good to get, so I'm going to grab that and grab that. Uh, let's reroll here. I don't think I'm going to go for the Archer Summons, though. Yeah, I think I might... I th so, I don't want to go super spread out because that's going to make it harder for me to upgrade them all. So, I really just kind of want to stick with... Oh, wait, we do have... A okay, so it looks like maybe does every character start with a basic attack? Because the enemy is defeated. I did have that question. There was another character I played that I had that happen where I had just a basic sword. It seems like it's maybe pretty slow, though. Okay, so we at least have ways that we can help out. That That's good to know. That's kind of one of those weird things that they don't really include anywhere. Okay, so let's increase our max HP. Roaring Bear is another great one. I'm going to go ahead and fuse these, though. Yeah, see, so there's one taunt. So I guess the taunt doesn't necessarily apply to only the enemies that are active at the time. I guess it literally applies to just anything that... It's like a continuous taunt, basically. It's almost like they put an aura on themselves to taunt. As opposed to... Right? It's kind of like they're buffing themselves with the taunt as opposed to debuffing enemies. Which is going to be nice for, for boss fights. So... Because then I don't really have to worry about... Uh, let's see. Don't really have to worry about uh, like them coming after me or doing damage. They're just going to kind of focus them. So that being said, I think I want to stick around with, with two bears. And then the rest are going to be my damaging units. So it's probably I'm probably going to end up having two bears and three three mages. I think is what I want to end up with. And then I got to check with the mages cuz the mages is where I want to do most of my damage. So I got to see what they're scaling off of. Probably my ability power if I had to guess. Could be my attack as well though. Could be a mix scaling. And so, because of that, I'm actually going to increase our summon damage, too. So, let's see, attack. Uh, based on... What is that? Oh, our damage percent. Okay. So, let's do this. Let's combine these, get rid of this, buy this. 
I'm going to grab the candelabra next round as well. Great. Super nice. Okay, so I actively want to be looking for a lot of just damage percent. I think that's where we're going to scale the best. And then, of course, we can keep keep stacking this. What do we have here? Whenever an enemy is killed, there's a 5% chance to summon a golem more for five seconds, up to two on the field. That seem, that's pretty good. If someone dies, there's a 33% chance. No, I don't care about that. If someone dies, there's a 10% chance to summon a spirit that lasts 10 seconds. Hmm. I think I'm going to go for this. This is, I think, I mean, our units aren't really dying, to be fair. Wow, we got literally down to zero. And do I go for the warrior? Honestly, this might not be too bad. I think I'm going to lock this in. I think I'm going to do two fireworks, two bears, and an and an Ein, Ein Harjar, however you pronounce that. Erinjar? I don't know. I think that might be I think they might be pretty strong. Although, you know what? I changed my mind because we already have them off of the uh, the talent that we picked up. Right? That's what's spawning right now. So, we really don't have to like have them in our in our skill pool. We can just focus on getting all these mages. I think that's better. And then it kind of uh, it doesn't dilute the the actual shop pool. So I'm going to keep going with summon damage. Yeah, so we don't want this anymore. This is actually fine for us. It scales both our attack and ability power, which I think both of these want, right? Yeah, they do. You don't go for attack, but you do. Take the damage. Uh, we'll take the Roaring Bear. We'll take the Fireworks. We'll grab... Yeah, I guess attack range doesn't really bother us at all either. This is a super weird build. Just because, like, the stats I'm going for are not always entirely relevant, I suppose, is the best way to look at it. It's a cool build. I mean, we're attacking just everybody. I mean, we're just destroying everybody. <laughs> I just got to make sure that I'm collecting all the all the crystals. It's kind of tough because I'm not, you know, it's not like they're all dying right around me. They're dying kind of everywhere on the map. Ooh. Well, that's a good way to get the war <laughs> the warriors. Just completely free. Yeah, see, like, I don't care about attack range, right? There's nothing that scales off of attack range. And, like, crit chance doesn't matter. Yeah, just very, very strange. Damage percent. Might as well get the mushrooms. I don't know how necessary they're going to be, though. So, like, I think those are off my relic.
Hmm. I don't know. I almost wish there was some kind of delineation that I could see that would show, like, hey, there's a difference between the relic one and the talent one. That might get a little visually messy, though. It's probably not entirely relevant. Just knowing that, hey, there's there's a million warriors on screen is probably good enough. But no, we're, we're just chilling on our magic carpet. Just, you know, it's almost like we're not even here. <laughs> it's like, because we have the bears just continuously taunting. Oh, that guy decided he wanted a piece of me. Because the bears are just continuously taunting, and I don't even know if they're dying. Screw it. Let's go for spirits, too. Let's just go full-on summons. Uh, I mean, this is just... This has got to be just great for us, no? Because attack range doesn't do anything. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to go for, like, max HP, so that way when... I think... I mean, the warriors are actually dying, but that's about it. Oh, there's there goes one bear. But to be fair, that's probably the, the lower tier bear. It's probably the tier one bear. Yeah, and see, like, there's already another one up. Yeah, with the, with the bear build, it, it really is, like... You know what? We, we turned this game from a bullet heaven into an auto battler. That's basically what we did. So I wonder... I haven't been keeping track. I don't think there are any spirits. I wonder if they will spawn off of the warriors that are not the ones that I'm casting. It just says when a summon dies. When killing bosses and elites. Huh? So I just get these stats anytime I kill a boss or elite. Seems pretty good. So now we have uh, some kind of incentive to force the, uh, the devil fruit. So now something like this. Does this apply to these? It, it's got to, right? It's got to? Yeah, so I'm keeping my eye out for, like, I, I'm seeing things that are dying, but I'm not seeing any spirits. Unless the spirits are just the casters? Although, I think the things that are dying are the warriors, and if that's the case, there might be something coded where, like, only the summons that I am directly casting work for the spirits. No, but I'm seeing I'm seeing casters die too. Hmm. Okay, so I'm not sure about that. Ta I'm not sure about this talent right here. Do summon a spirit. It's regeneration. So maybe the regeneration is a to summon a spirit. The last. I wonder if the spirit is just a replication of the one that died. So it basically means you can have two extra of the thing that died on the field. So what else do I want to go for?
I mean, I guess we just play a little bit more defense. Hmm. So again, like, how does this interact with what I have going on? Let's let's try it out and see. Luckily, it's easy enough to see because after it says damage dealt last round, so we can actively go back and see what it's done for us. Okay, let's see how the... Oh, God, okay. Well, this is one that... At least this one, I can just focus on dodging the projectiles. I don't even have to worry about, like, get being close to do damage as well. I can literally just focus on dodging everything. And as my summons fight, like, I'm getting shield, so I don't have to worry so much about getting hit every once in a while. So, have I ever said that this boss is a nightmare? Because this boss is a nightmare. <laughs> like, good lord. Not only that, but you get these black demons around and they also shoot projectiles. So, if it wasn't enough that the boss shoots projectiles that shoot projectiles, there's also specific enemies that then come in. It's just like, oh my god. Crazy harvesting. Nice. Nice. Uh, let's go ahead and combine these, grab you. Yeah, you could definitely just like stack that uh the shield the shield talent and just like go to town if you had enough hp recovery you, you like let's say you were down to about 50 percent of your health one of your summons dies you built up some shield hp recovery takes over you get back to full health then by the time like you get hit again your summons are going to die again you get more shield you can recover any health that you might have lost like you can just go very defensive with this Okay, so we wanted to keep going. You know what? Let's do... Oh, that's going to be powerful. If we can even get that far. So this, again, this is a weird one. Because I don't know how attack recovery... Okay, so... Oh, but you know what? I can't actively... I can't... I don't think this is working the way I think it does. Because it's showing that it dealt damage. But again, I'm doing melee damage. So I don't think this is working the way I want to. Otherwise, I think this would be way higher. But this is weird. I don't know exactly how it interacts with a bunch of my stuff. There's a lot of inter weird interactions. It's like what kind of what carries over and what doesn't. 
because it, it, it the, I guess the weird thing about it is like, it is a skill that we are using, right? Just as we would use a, a drain blade or a fireball, it's still a skill that we are using, but because we're, the, vi the visualization of it is that it is a different entity doing its own attacks. It's like what does carry over and what doesn't. Yeah, so I don't know if I used any melee attacks yet this round, but I want to... I think what I'm going to do is maybe next round... No, next round there's an elite. I want to try and just do, like, no melee attacks on anybody. Just to test the, um, the, Thor's, the Thor's hammer. Uh, that seems pretty bad, actually. I was thinking about it, but I think it's pretty bad. A lightning tower that can be repaired. Uh, arrows. Characters that expect to be sure. This one's really bad. I've, I've tried this a couple times. Uh, I'm completely off it now. I don't think this is good at all. Let's go turn this on. So the t the towers are, are really good. Oh my god, this thing is slow as heck, though. So you basically have to stand near it to charge it. Oh, he is not taunted anymore. Yeah, the thing is slow as heck. We're going to have enough damage to kill this thing. There we go. Charge it up. Okay, let me help out a little bit. Never mind. Okay, we got it dead, but that was that was pretty rough. More harvesting? That seems great. Players will auto pick up uh, on whole. Excuse me? Bro, there's no shot. There's no shot they're going to let us do that. Like, does any of the. I don't think any of this matters. I should have taken that, actually. So I can literally just sit here and collect everything. Oh my god, we have perma magnet. Okay, if you've ever built a busted relic in your life, we found it. We are now literally, we have literally built ourselves an auto battler. 100%. I am now at the stage where I do not have to do a single thing. Okay, well, bear, don't taunt them near me, you dingus. Move away from your queen. Here we go. We'll just charge this up again. Yeah, this thing is super slow. We've had... We had... Uh, it's been a while. I don't remember what episode it was. I think it might have been the spell sword, I think? That I had a tower that made these warrior summons. And it was much faster than this. This is very slow. Well, let's grab the experience, Roaring Bear. Oh my days. Uh, well, I can't even buy this one, so we'll lock it. All right, well, let's just go uh, sit over here on, our t on top of our tower. We'll charge this up and uh, we'll get going.
So how's everybody doing? <laughs> oh lordy. Oh lordy. Is this our broken most broken build yet? I don't think we're there yet. I mean, cuz we can just kind of sit here and do nothing, but it's not like our damage is busted or anything like that. We've had much more busted builds than this. I think we broke the game in terms of like what the game actually is. It's no longer a bullet heaven. We've we've completely changed genres. Uh, do not care about defense in the slightest. Man, her talent tree is kind of weird. Like, I don't really care about a lot of this, to be completely honest with you. I probably care more about what's down here. Oh, you can get new skills on stuff? That's pretty cool. Okay, so we recycled this. We get this bear. Now we have two legendary bears. Second verse, same as the first. Yeah, I think especially the I think the bear's taunt is might be a little bit too good. While I like it, it's kind of absurd that it's like a passive buff that stays on the bear as opposed to debuffing enemies. So basically any enemies that spawn just go straight for the bear. Oh, hey, McPerkerton, let's let's not let's not come after me, huh? Go for the bear. Cause even then, like if, if you had the if you had the bear debuff enemies around you, and if let's say there was an area to the taunt, because it looks like it's basically unlimited range taunt, then you'd still have to avoid some enemies. But at this point, because they're taunting, I just don't have to avoid anything. They just continuously go for the bears. You know what? Screw it. And so I can't... Oh, it's 20 points. Okay, why did I think it wasn't? Additionally, gain Roaring Giant Bear skill. I want to see what that does. So can I... Oh, it just gives me a third one? And it's legendary. Yeah, it's kind of absurd. Does this matter? It's just more damage. We also we have Yeah, see some of the math is definitely super weird in this game. You kind of just have to like go with it and just assume that what you're buying is doing things correctly because like how does this give me 0.69 HP per every one second? At 15. And it's definitely more than that. Yeah, so I have no idea what this cactus is going to do, if anything, but it was free. I know that it was free. Oh, but didn't we take a talent? Uh, wasn't there a talent that increases summons damage based on how many summons there are on the battlefield? We're going to have to look over that. Because if that's the case, I should definitely be be working on that. Although, I mean, we only have two more rounds to go. And I don't... Well, we do have a boss and an elite in round 20. And I have made mention of the fact that our damage was not the best when we fought the, uh, the first elite. But I guess now we've kind of... Again, we've kind of cheated the game. Now we have six skills. Yeah, so where was that? Or am I crazy about what I what I read?
Oh, it's explosion damage. Okay. That's still that's still fair though. Melee attacks deal an extra thirty percent of the enemy's current damage. Maximum damage cannot exceed. So again, like I, I'm assuming this is gonna work the way I want it to. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I should have looked there first, because this is not gonna do what I want it to, right? Because now we can we we can see for certain that Hammer Thor is not working. So these do not count as melee attacks that we are doing, even though it says melee at the top. Yeah. Okay. So that that was wasted. I sh I should have double checked that before I bought that, but live and you learn. Damage of all nearby summons. Well, there we go. There's some power. Okay. Well, now Oh, that's super nice. I don't know that I've ever... I don't know that I've noticed that before. Where you can see that they're getting buffs. Where they're getting, like, ore buffs. So how close do I have to be? Literally not close at all. <laughs> Literally, I can be across the map and they're still getting the buff. What? Okay. Well, I guess this counts as nearby. I guess I'll still sit on my tower. Yeah, summons seem a little broke. <laughs> they seem a little broke. Ah, very nice. Well, this is great, considering we just pull in all, literally every crystal on the map. Okay, Morphling. What are we copying? Nothing that says uh, melee damage. So, like this. Like, I don't know if this works. I mean, oh, I think that banner, was that banner? Yeah, that banner must have been unique, huh? So then what do I want? Honestly, there's not like a whole lot that I actually do want. I guess I'm just going to do this. Yeah, it's unique. Okay. Explosion tower. Okay. Do I have a blue? I don't have a blue yet. Oh, man. I didn't even think about the fact that there was... I had a split second where my head went, if I get rid of this, is it going to default me back down to five? Or does this basically... Has this given me... Has this given me a six slot? Right? So, like... The additional Roaring Giant bear skill. Is that just a temporary slot? And then once you get rid of the temporary slot, it brings you back down to five or if it keeps you here. So it does keep you, it like gives you a guaranteed um, six slot. Magic mirror that can be repaired after the completion. Magic mirror can summon summoner. Can summon summoners. Okay, let's see. It. Let's see about summoning a summoner. I think one of the downsides about these towers, though, is that like I have no idea which one of these is which. Uh, well, that was the that was the summoner one. Oh, this is the one that we got before. Yeah, I've had that one before. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Oh, yikes. Scorpion, don't do me like that. There we go. Well. That was, uh... 
God, and it does aura damage. Dude, this bear is ridiculous. This is stupid. I think this might be the stupidest skill that we've seen so far. <laughs> Just like unlimited taunt, does AoE damage, deals 88 damage. Like its regular attack is 39. That's just stupid. Plus, it's getting a 25% boost from the power aura. God, the thing is dumb. That thing is super dumb. We didn't even have to do anything. We <laughs> like I said, we turned it into an auto battler. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy, would you kindly smash that like button? Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more roguelite action. I've been Ganyans. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time.